Hello, I'm Dr. Rod Studd. I'm a urologist in Wellington with a special interest in the diagnosis and management of bladder cancer. Today I'll be speaking to you about the diagnosis of urothelial carcinoma in patients presenting with hematuria in primary care to general practitioners. I'll talk about current clinical guidelines for urological evaluation, then touch on some of the issues around diagnosing and ruling out bladder cancer and finish by looking at some of the developments in assessment technology available to GPs for ruling out bladder cancer in the primary workup. Bladder cancer affects almost 600 people in New Zealand per year, with 170 dying from the disease. Risk factors specific for bladder cancer include smoking, occupational exposure to carcinogens, male gender and family history. Symptoms may include pain during urination, frequent urination and in some cases pelvic pain, but by far the most prevalent symptom affecting 90% of cases will be blood in the patient's urine. Macroscopic hematuria is characterised by a visible colour change. Microscopic hematuria by contrast is not visible to the patient, is often transient and should be confirmed by three consecutive daily urine tests. As a first step, the history and examination may indicate a possible cause for bleeding. It's important to check for proteinuria to distinguish nephrological causes and exclude other common causes of hematuria such as urinary infection. Once these causes have been excluded, further investigation for possible bladder cancer usually requires referral to a urologist. The prevalence of bladder cancer in patients with microhematuria has been reported as approximately 4%, while in patients with macroscopic hematuria it is far higher, ranging from 12 to 23%. However, the number of patients presenting with microscopic hematuria is approximately four times greater than that with macroscopic hematuria. It should be noted, however, that several studies suggest there is no significant difference in the distribution of bladder cancer by grade and stage between micro and macro hematuria. Currently, guidelines specify cytology as the first step for patients with suspected bladder cancer. However, cytology results are frequently inconclusive. There are often atypical findings and a risk of false negative results. Due to low sensitivity, most existing non-invasive urine-based tests add cost without delivering significant diagnostic benefit, and this leads to clinicians referring most patients for specialist assessment at this early stage. Excluding or diagnosing bladder cancer requires a complete urological workup with cystoscopy indicated for all patients with macroscopic hematuria or those with recurrent microscopic hematuria if they're over age 40 with bladder cancer risk factors. This obviously places a significant clinical burden on urology clinics in the New Zealand health system. A very reliable and non-invasive urine-based investigation is the CX bladder suite of tests from New Zealand-based Pacific Edge Diagnostics. I've been using these tests on selected patients in my practice for over 12 months now. CX Bladder Detect is a multi-gene molecular test shown to be significantly more sensitive than cytology for detecting urothelial carcinoma in patients with hematuria. Measuring the levels of five mRNA biomarkers clinically proven to be elevated in patients positive for bladder cancer, CX Bladder Detect is a useful adjunct to cystoscopy outperforming other urine-based tests in a multi-center clinical trial. The latest CX bladder test is CX bladder triage, which has been designed for use in primary care. It uses the same mRNA biomarkers in conjunction with known bladder cancer risk factors to indicate whether specialist referral is required. This provides clinicians with a highly sensitive non-invasive investigation for ruling out urothelial carcinoma in patients presenting with hematuria. 
with a sensitivity of 95% and a high negative predictive value of 98%, CX bladder triage is more accurate than cytology, allowing you to confidently rule out urothelial carcinoma during the primary workup, particularly for patients presenting with microscopic hematuria. The urine sampling system comprising the CX bladder tests has the added benefit of letting patients perform the sampling at home if desired, rather than making a special trip to the lab. Diagnosis of bladder cancer in hematuria patients is crucial. If you require any further information about the diagnostic pathway for hematuria or about CX bladder, I recommend contacting your local urology specialist team. Thank you.